I'd never heard anyone talk about air in your, uh, in your inside your block, below the pistons. Below the piston. We have to have, you know, again, yeah. it's 427 above, it's 427 below. They're going up and down. They don't know the difference. So we, we're pumping air in and out. And this kind of goes to the open breathers as well. You'll yeah. have engines, you know, guys will call up and, oh, my engine's breathing. I can see all this coming in and out of the breathers. Well, is it blow by? Mm -hmm. Or is it just air movement? Right. If you don't have a positive system on the engine evacuating the bottom end, you're seeing the air exchanging. Every time that piston goes down, that one's trying to push air out. Next one over here is going up. It's trying to suck air back in. Right. And it's pulling it all through the drain back holes and around the push rods. So you'll, you'll see air movement. Now, if we compound that problem with a high volume oil pump and we're flooding the valve train, guess what happens? That air trying to move in and out is picking oil up with it and trying to blow it out the breathers. We don't have a blow-by problem. We have to measure that with a blow-by meter on the engine. Yeah, what we exactly. have is so much air moving. We stroke the engine. We've got this many cubic inches trying to breathe through the breathers while I've got a high volume pump that's picking up oil because the valve train's flooded. So wow. there's a, yeah, we could talk about stuff like this for a month.